Meanwhile, pro-Palestinian protests have gotten larger at other universities across the country. Now at the University of Texas at Austin, police moved in, clashing with demonstrators this afternoon. Fox's Oliviana Comas is there, and she's been right in the middle of all of this. Oliviana, what's it been like there today? By the way, how is the media being treated covering this? Um, hi, John. Hi, Christina. The media has not been treated very friendly today. I've been asked to move around. I've been asked who I'm with, all those things. Um, and, and actually, we just got word that over 30 people were arrested. And these protesters behind me, they're not happy. In fact, some of some of the people here just got pepper sprayed. And so people are moving about here. Uh, this is where the police were taking um, those protesters they had arrested into the bus and getting them out of here. Um, and so today was a little bit rowdy on um, people saying dozens of people chanting pro-Palestinian messages and hours ago the school put out a dispersal order but the protesters just stayed put and that's when Texas police took action making a line and starting to arrest protesters one by one and the university sent out a statement uh, after that saying that the law enforcement had to dismantle an encampment. They said there were several baseball-sized rocks found strategically placed in the lawn by protesters. They believe that most of those protesters are unaffiliated with the school. Now, I talked to a student protester who said she's unhappy with the school's response to these protests, but their message stays the same. And now another student protesting says their group's intention is, is not to be anti-Semitic, but a Jewish student I spoke with says they feel the protest is anti-Semitic, and they're grateful to the school for standing up against the encampment here on UT campus today. I think that the police pre presence was overdone and completely inappropriate. Um, I think that the university put their own political beliefs above uh, the safety of students, and I think that's absolutely unacceptable. This is disgusting. Yet again, we've seen it go on for days now, and I'm done seeing this terrorist appeasement. I'm grateful for the administration here at UT Austin for taking a strong stance against Jew hatred. Now, you can hear just the chanting and the rowdiness here. This is not even the South Lawn where the protest originally was. They had moved to another location. So we'll continue to monitor this situation. But the school put out that statement saying they do su support the right for free speech and assembly, but they'll continue uh, to enforce the school rules. Back to you guys. So, Liviana, I'm, I'm just curious, how much heads up did the protesters get that police would move in if they did not disperse? How much what, sorry? How much heads up did the group get? How much advanced uh, warning did they get? Bef you know, telling them, look, you've got to disperse or police are going to move in. I would say it was about 45 minutes, but the school put out guidelines about protesting the last couple of days, including rules about no encampments, and they were going against that right off the bat today. Wow. Are you seeing any um, on the opposite side of things? We have the pro-Palestinian protesters, and then on the other side, are you seeing those people there as well? Yeah, so I did catch up with a group of Jewish students who are really, really angry about this whole situation, and they are just thankful for all the troops that are lining around the area, um, and they said that this is just a really unfortunate situation. They hope that it will clear out as soon as possible. Oliviana, have the Jewish students expressed to you that they fear for their safety on that campus? They have told me that they feel anti-Semitism and anti-Jew hate from these groups, uh, but the students I spoke to that are in the protests are saying that's not their intention at all. Uh, but then you've got these non-affiliated people that are here as well, so that's kind of the situation. Okay, Liviana, thank you so much for your Stay safe out there.